host, Judah McNeil here. All the response I got from last episode dealt with politics. So today I'm going to focus on politics. And I'm going to continue the conversation about vice presidents in the 2012 race. Unemployment numbers going up. Unexpectedly, of course. And I had a request to talk about TSA. It stands for... Ropey. First of all, I'd like to follow up with the segment I did on Vice Presidents in 2012. I'd like to follow up by saying that credible writers don't really expect Obama to drop Biden. If he did pick Cuomo and the GOP did pick Marco Rubio, that would make the Latino vote a huge factor. Then the race becomes less about Obama and, say, Perry, or less about Obama and Bachman, or whoever is the GOP nomination. Not looking great now, I say Perry, because I hope Perry does get into the race. Please, Perry, please, if you're listening. He's not listening. See, if this happens, and it does become more of a Cuomo versus Rubio situation. It changes the game completely because the GOP benefits from the influx of Latino voters and Obama benefits from it not being about him, which leads to our next segment. Can Obama slide by in the economy? Numbers just came out. So the job market is not looking good. Unemployment rate is up from 9.1 to 9.2. Here's what I think, and I'm no expert. The stimulus is running out. But it wasn't federal government jobs that were lost. It was state jobs. Why were they lost? Well, because states aren't getting that huge influx of money from the stimulus package anymore. And all that money is going bye-bye. So, lesson learned. <laughs> This is a difficult question for me. The TSA, should they be able to pat people down around the private parts? Or is this a fundamental intrusion into our privacy and rights? Well, obviously, the second one, anytime government is forcing old ladies to take off their soiled diapers to check in there for bombs and fondling little kids to make sure that they're not terrorists. Terrorists could use children and old women, and if we don't pat them down and check their diapers, that's exactly who they're going to use. Are we going to try to mitigate for every possibility, like every nook and cranny that they could possibly put a bomb? What if they come up with like a, um, uh, an explosive substance that they can put in their blood? Are we going to start doing blood tests and taking off our shoes in the, at the airport? Government is going to end up and already really have taken it too far. And uh, it's time for us to say, government, get your hands out of our pants. Please write something in the comment section below. And if you liked it, like it. And for every subscriber, I, Judah McNeil, will plant a tree. Keep up the good work. Oh, no. What?